lighting so you'll normally see me if you if so you'll normally the next brush is the pointed crease brush and this is eye brush number 15 and I love this eye brush because it is great for just packing on color in the outer V or if you want color to be more focused in the actual crease then this actually focus the color there you, you know it actually puts the color exactly where you want it without having the color smear elsewhere so I really love this brush and it's great for those of you who have small eyes and you need a brush that will actually just be able to apply the color where you want it without bringing it further up into the highest point of your brow the next brush is the brow spoolie duo and it has a spoolie on one end and an angled brush on the other end and the one thing that I love about this brush is that it's a multi-purpose brush. Uh, for instance, if you want to do your brows, you can apply powder um, with the angled brush. It has really stiff bristles, which actually makes it perfect for applying the powder on your brows. And if you know me, you know that I use pencil and powder on my brows because it looks more natural to me. And then you can turn around and just comb out your brows with this spoolie. And the spoolie is also great for like getting rid of the clumps in your mascara. Like once you put the mascara on with your mascara wand, you can take this spoolie and you can comb out any clumps that your mascara may have left behind. So I love this because it's a two-in-one brush and I don't have to have multiple brushes, especially whenever I'm traveling because that's one thing. If I don't wear makeup, I really want to do my brows. So it's perfect to have a brush that I can apply the powder with on one end and then comb it out with another on the other end. So this is the eye brush number 17 by Sedona Lace in this collection. The next brush that I'm going to talk about is the eye brush number 19. This is a bent eyeliner brush and this is really perfect for those who have problems with lining their top lash line with like gel products or a liquid product. This actually helps because it, it gives you more control over the shape of the liner that you want to give your eye. Instead of just having a really straight liner brush, you have a more bent one. That way you can just run it along without having to like hold it straight up and down like this you can just hold it like this at an angle so I love this brush as well it really does make like the perfect winged liner so that's really good it's the eye brush number 19 and then you have the eye brush number 23 this is a angled brush and I love this one as well for winged out liner if you want to use this for like liquid products or gel products like eyeliner to wing out your uh, eyeliner this really does work it's very 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 thin which gives you more control over how thick or how thin you want the line of your eyeliner to be another uh, way you can use this brush is if you want to apply any type of brow highlight this is perfect because you can just kind of tilt the brush at an angle and it will apply very close to the brow um, the color that you would like the, the highlight to be so I really love this brush It's the eye brush number 23 the next brush is the Detail Shader Brush, and this is eye brush number 21. I haven't really had many opportunities to use this brush, but I have used it to apply color to like my inner tear ducts, as well as like smudging out any color that I chose to wear on my lower lash line. So like if I decided to just add like a blue or a dark brown or black eyeshadow on my lower lash line I would apply it with this brush here and then I would just use the tips of the brush to blend it out so I really love this brush and it is pony hair uh, so it's very 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 soft I love all of these brushes are very 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 soft and even after you wash it it still maintains the softness of it and I've had it for a while um, I used it for about four months this is like the fourth or fifth month that I've had this uh, brush set and I just decided to do a review on it now because I really wanted to give it a thorough review for you guys. There is one more brush which is the lip brush but I cannot find it. Like I said I have been having this for about four months so I've been using this brush set a lot because I travel a lot and it's just a lot easier to have all of my brushes in one little compact so I'm, that's why I'm very grateful to have a brush belt uh, to come along with this because it's easier for me to just pack all of my brushes into this brush belt zip it up and go um, so I can't find the lip brush but I will post the picture here to where you guys can see and it comes in like a little silver little bullet looking thing it does come with a cap so you can use it for like traveling purposes and it does keep 
uh, your brush very, very, very sanitized because it has a cap on it. And to me, I feel like if I'm going to put something on my lips, I want it to have a cap because I want it to be sanitized. And I normally keep like my lip brushes in my little um, small makeup traveling kit that's in my purse because I'm always reapplying lip gloss and lipstick. So I don't know where that brush is. Like seriously, I it could be in my purse somewhere. I don't even know. But I know that I use it a lot because um, I'm always applying lipstick and lip gloss. And with the holiday season and traveling, it was more convenient to have it in my little uh, makeup kit and I didn't even think to like check that before this review but I like I said I will post the picture here so you guys can see it actual brush belt I love it because the material is like so 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 soft and smooth it's very durable um, it's not that cheap type of material to where it tears if product does get onto the actual brush belt, it's very, very, very easy to clean. And I love it because it's great for like storing all of your makeup brushes. Even if you don't use all of the Sedona Lace brushes into this brush belt, it's perfect for like storing all of your brushes on a makeup gig. It's perfect for storing all of your makeup brushes if you don't have like a place to store your brushes. So like if you're storing your brushes in a bathroom, that's very, very, very unsanitary because with shower heat, you can actually get the bacteria onto your brushes a lot quicker than storing your brushes into like an isolated room. So having your brushes in a brush belt inside your bathroom would be more sanitary and you can actually just put all of your brushes um, into this little makeup uh, bag and if you're going to like your friend's house to get dressed, if you need to have all of your brushes together for emergency purposes, like if you're in a rush and you know that you can't do your makeup at home before you go, you can just grab this bag, wrap this little strap around it and go. So I really love this. And for this kit, it's only $89.95. I love, love, love the top quality type of brushes that I got into this kit for a very inexpensive price and although I would set this for a review do keep in mind that if I want to add on to this vortex collection that I will have to pay for it out of out of pocket and that's one thing that I always keep in mind when reviewing a product is that is this product worthy of my money do I see myself going back into the website and purchasing and ordering more to build my collection and my answer to that is yes because it is top quality type of brushes for a very inexpensive price I get the exact same results when using these brushes that I would get if I was using Mac brushes and I've even used these brushes on clients and the the application of the products that I use was just flawless and it's all about the brushes to be honest with you if you're using like the little sponge type of applicator for eyeshadow you will not get the same effect as you would get if you are using one of the eye brushes in this kit or one of the eye brushes by Mac or by Bobbi Brown but all of those brushes to just build um, a kit of like 14 15 brushes each brush Bobbi Brown Mac uh, Lorac Sephora all of those brushes are pretty like expensive they can range you between 25 to 45 dollars for one brush so if you're trying to build a collection of you know having two or three different sets for like makeup gigs so say for instance if you want one set of 15 brushes and then you want to build another set because it's easier to have multiple brushes then you will spend just on one set well over two three hundred dollars just to complete that brush set and so I'm like okay if you have one full set here with the actual brush belt for only eighty nine dollars you can't even beat that because some brushes you'll use more than others so so I always suggest whenever you're building your kit and you're wanting more brushes of certain brushes that you love if you want more brushes of the brushes that you actually will use more start off with those so like you know I would say get more of the universal blending brush get more of like the uh, EB number 13 which is the synthetic uh, taper blending brush um, I would say get more of the dome contour brush which is face brush number five um, I would say get more brushes of the flat top brush which is face brush number seven I would also say get more brushes of the little angled brush which is eye brush number 23 um, and then also for eyeliner you know you know that you will do a lot of eyeliner when you're doing makeup on other people and yourself so always have a lot of 
um, eyeliner brushes, which is eye brush number 19. So you can get more for your money with this Vortex collection. So I am sold on these brushes. I've had these brushes for about four to five months and they have not failed me. Like I said, the only brush that I really experienced a little bit of shedding with is this um, fan brush here. But it's okay. It may be because I zip it up into the, um, the, the traveling kit and I always have it on the edge. So that's right near the zipper. So the zipper may pull it out. Maybe I don't even realize that I'm zipping the hairs into the actual uh, zipper. So that could be a reason why I'm actually losing two to three strands um, whenever I do take it out to use it. So. So that is it for my review on the Sedona Lace Vortex Collection. Like I said, I would recommend these brushes to you guys, especially those who are interested in starting their own makeup kit. If you want to have numerous amount of brushes for a very inexpensive price, if you want top quality brushes for an inexpensive price, then definitely, definitely, definitely go with the Vortex Collection uh, brush set.